it's important to be very kind, uh, conservative in our approach to um, labeling somebody as being a malingerer or a, fa a feigner or someone that's exaggerating. Um, and in fact, um, uh, Richard Rogers, who is um, one of the uh, great writers in this whole area of, of assessing malingering, uh, suggests that we look at uh, response style on a continuum, where you look at malingering on one end uh, of the continuum, and you look at uh, honest responding at the other end of the continuum. So it's not as if you always can put somebody in a category of malingering, because they may or may not be conscious of what they're doing, or they may be conscious at some times and not at other times. So it's not as if you can categorize these people. It's better to look at it as a continuum. And uh, it's very important also to be very uh, uh, conservative in our approach to labeling people as being malingerers or exaggerators or feigners. And again, we'll get to pain here in just a little bit, but uh, when you assess malingering in pain patients, it becomes more problematic because, uh, it can become problematic because again, people romanticize what it was like when they were not experiencing pain. And so is that conscious exaggeration or conscious malingering? Well, not, necess not necessarily so. And, uh, and again, with children, it's not necessarily the case that simply because they're, they're exaggerating their symptoms in some way, that they're malingering or being untruthful in the sense of how we look at truth. And I might also add that there are some other factors that come into this. Like, for example, is a person, um, when you assess somebody that, uh, for their malingering, is a person malingering if they're coached by the attorneys to be selective in what they say? Well, maybe, maybe not. Uh, maybe they're just trying to please their attorneys, and maybe they're not really trying to exaggerate in order to get a, a particular kind of reward. And so, and then also the availability of information on the internet kind of um, uh, confuses this in some way because anybody can go on the internet and look up different diagnostic categories and what they should or should not say regarding uh, their condition. And if they read it enough, then all of a sudden it becomes a part of their mental construct. So uh, it's not necessarily the case that they're malingering. It could be that they've gotten all this information from the internet, they've gotten influences from their attorneys, maybe perhaps because of sensations in their body. They, they on one time, at one occasion, may uh, exaggerate symptoms. On another occasion, when they're not so stressed, they may not be exaggerating symptoms. And so uh, it's, it's a very difficult thing labeling somebody as being a malingerer, so we need to be very cautious in doing so. 